Very calm night down here tonight. Everybody and welcome to another video I'm doing uh, today. I'm concentrating on a weather vlog. Uh, this could take quite a while, though. Uh, <laughs> sometimes the weather doesn't always happen when you want it to. Uh, but the forecast is for some storms over the coming days. Uh, we've got some mixed weather around the region. Uh, but as you can see right now, the weather is absolutely perfect. It is beautiful. And just to let you know where I am, I've chosen this location, which is near where I live. And this is very much uh, a place where a lot of people come to check out the storms um, all year round. Doesn't matter whether it's a snow squall in the winter or a storm off the lake. Whoa, they're getting a good soak. In the fall and spring, when we get those really strong 100, 120 km an hour winds whipping up the lakes. Uh, we also get funnel clouds over there. We also get fast moving rolling stone, uh, storms from over there. Lightning is really good for over here as well. And hopefully we'll get to showcase as much as we can over the next few days because Stuff always happens around here. Uh, the ultimate goal is to try and get a water spout. That's, what's, that's my ultimate goal. That's the holy grail of weather for me, is to get a good water spout. Uh, but hey, we'll take whatever comes. Uh, the weather's beautiful tonight. Might even get a nice uh, sunset out of this, which will be good. Uh, so it's just a matter of waiting around and looking forward for something to happen and just be patient. So let's go and be patient. The day started off with little white fluffy clouds, known as those cumulus clouds. You know, those ones out of the Simpsons. At this moment in time, the radar still wasn't showing much activity, so I decided I was hungry and went into Ford Erie for a bite to eat. And suddenly, this little monster appeared and it grew. The Cumula Lanimbus Arcus. Also visible in this cloud is what they call a scud cloud, that wispy cloud that just sits beneath the actual storm cloud itself. A few minutes later, I captured this footage down by the river uh, overlooking Buffalo and uh, New York State. And what an amazing shot that is. Uh, the city of Buffalo and the line of rain just falling right down. I quickly made my way back to Crystal Beach because this storm was taking a strange turn. It was growing and moving suddenly west, as you can tell by the time-lapse video I managed to capture before it actually went dark. Then the rain started to fall and it fell hard. We got to close to 50 millimeters of rain in the next hour in the Crystal Beach area. Uh, my camera positioned outside the vehicle actually captured this fishing boat coming back around about 10 p.m. in the driving rain, strong winds and a very rough lake. They were very lucky very lucky indeed. The wind and the lightning began to intensify and thankfully my camera actually picked it up. As the rain eased we got to see some great lightning strikes between uh, Crystal Beach and Western Buffalo towards uh, Seneca and if I slowed it down it even looks even better. In this particular strike, you can actually watch the lightning trying to find its conductor. Yeah, I'll slow it right down for you. The next day, all is calm again, but something Something is definitely brewing. All right, it's one of those uh, frustrating uh, moments where the storm systems come in, it's kind of dissipated in our region once again. Uh, a nice storm cell did appear over Niagara Falls. It's kind of pushed down the river, and I'll just show you uh, Fort Erie over there where the tail end of it is now pushing. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. But this is kind of interesting, right behind us here. And we have a shelf there with a few little dips in it. I'm going to keep an eye on that. And then we've got this little system coming in right behind us, which we've got a time lapse on. And hopefully, we'll get some uh, good footage from that as well. 
The time lapse video captures in great detail how the storm develops and then begins to move closer. Sadly, this particular cell stayed to the north of us, uh, between Stevensville and Niagara Falls. Alright, I'll just show the radar image uh, quickly on the screen right about here. Uh, that is the little cell which has uh, made its way around the, uh, down the Niagara River and is now just poking into uh, Fort Erie and heading towards Buffalo. So I'm just going to quickly show you over here. The storm may have passed, however, it did make way for some breathtaking video and photos of an amazing sunset. I didn't get much of a storm today. I've been down here for quite a bit today, but uh, we did get some really cool clouds and we've also got a spectacular sunset. Look at that. Uh, the sun, the clouds, making some really, really cool uh, colors tonight. And as I pan around the whole lake, uh, surrounded by a uh, cloud, nice shell flying room right across on the US side. And uh, yeah, these clouds just keep growing and growing over here. And one storm completely went past us, and it's now uh, heading towards Fort Erie. And uh, there's a little gap in the storms here, and nice little uh, red clouds. Beautiful, very calm night down here tonight. As you can see, there is truly amazing colors on these clouds, which have been created by the lowering sun. Absolutely phenomenal. Look at this little roll cloud as well, it just appeared, nicely highlighted. Uh, the scene that night was absolutely beautiful. It was one of the best sunsets I had seen in a long, long time. At this time, there was no evidence of what was to come. The radar wasn't showing anything to our west over the lake. Uh, but you can see there's a huge line of clouds moving up the lake. There were dozens of these cumula... Cumula... The, the Nimbus. Can never pronounce that right. Columbus clouds. Uh, growing in strength as far as the eye could see. You notice the lake just changed. Oh, nice. <laughs> you missed that one. Then it started. The radar suddenly lit up red right across the lake between Lake Erie Beach and Derby. Or Derby. Whoa! <laughs> Lovely. This was the start of an amazing lightning show over the lake that lasted several hours. The lightning was still clearly visible even though the storm was moving inland and was way past 50 kilometers away inland. And the lightning was spectacular. I have once again slowed down a couple of the lightning strikes for a replay at a much slower speed. So you can see how the lightning just spans right out. Here is what the storm looked like on a time lapse, and by now the storm was a good 50 to 60 kilometers away from us. Oh, 
always dashing back to try and get to the lake when you see good clouds like this. Apparently there's a um, water spout um, advisory issue. So I want to get down there before it gets too dark and have a look, but the clouds are great. A couple of pop-up thunderstorms have popped up uh, of the Niagara region and gone over to the States. Look at this one over here. Look at this. This is pretty neat. Look at that. What a cloud. That looks nice. I like that. Alright, this sucks. I just got down here and I've just been informed in the last hour there's been three water spouts spotted just uh, along there. It took me an hour to get from Hamilton to here, so I'm kind of a little disappointed. But uh, anyway, it's uh, just time to go dusk and uh, we'll see what we can capture and uh, hope to put it in the video. It's like constantly chasing the storm here. As you can see in the footage, great looking clouds, several drops in between the bands of rain, uh, though I did see a water spout form. Sadly, it did not touch the water. It begun, and just before it hit the water, it literally just disappeared. Now, if you look hard enough, uh, you can see in the image that I actually took of it, and I tried to highlight it a little bit better and uh, played around with the saturation a little bit in the levels, and you can clearly just figure it out <laughs> where it starts. There's a little V there and a little spout coming down. That was the water spout I had seen. That's it, right there. Just pointing down right there. That's the little water spout. And uh, there it is again. I can see it, hopefully you can see it, but hey, I swear I saw it. Okay, as I sit here and wait for another storm, I'm going to leave you with some storm footage that was taken from the two or three weeks ago. Actually, it was on my birthday on the 2nd of August. So, uh, a little footage that was used in another video, boat ramps in uh, Chippewa and Crystal Beach. But here's a lot more footage from that particular storm. Enjoy it. right behind me just appeared beautiful right in the water literally like 20 30 meters away from me arcing over to here that is amazing beautiful sight absolutely beautiful Absolutely beautiful. It's worth being here all day.